ain't gonna study. I ain't gonna study. I ain't gonna study. What's up everybody, it's Thanksgiving today. I'm feeling mighty thankful for everything I have. I'm feeling thankful for you watching this. I'm feeling thankful for you hopefully subscribing. Yep, yep. And I'm just feeling really thankful. I'm also really feeling thankful for all the veterans out there and everyone who's an active service member in the United States and all around the world out there protecting our freedom, okay? So this one is dedicated to you guys. I appreciate you, I see all of you. Um, I appreciate your sacrifices. A lot of kids I grew up with that became young men in the military. I appreciate the lessons that you're teaching our kids. Um, I'm going to stick with teaching ukulele because that's just what I do, but I really appreciate and see what you do and I appreciate it a lot. This one's for you, down by the riverside. Go ahead and grab that ukulele brain intention spin, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down right now. Alright, down by the riverside, let's go ahead and check out this little bass riff that I do at the intro. It sounds like this. Open C, open E, third fret of the E, open A, third fret of the A, open A, third fret, open E. This is the C major pentatonic. Um, just walking up it, except we are skipping the D note, okay? Now I usually only play it two times to start the intro off, and then after I play it two times, I do a down, up, down on the C, down, up, down on the F, and then a down, up, a down, down, up, up, down, up on a G7, okay? So the three chords you need for the song are C, F, well G, and G7, so kind of four chords. So I play that riff two times, C, C, F, F, down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? Okay, and then we're going to go into the verse. So let's take a look at the verse. So let's go ahead and take a look at the verse. Um, we're going to, the strum pattern is going to, is going to be what I call a groove based strum pattern, because essentially we're just going to be going down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? So that's a strum pattern. spice to it by going down, mute, up, up, down, up, down, mute, up, up, down, up, down, mute, up, up, down, up, down, mute, up, up, down, up. Now we can add even a little more spice to it by going down, mute, up, up. And those ups, and then down, mute, up, up, down, up. And try to get them a little more staccato. And by staccato, what I'm doing is I'm putting my palm on there and I'm really just barely getting these two strings. Now no, I'm going to be playing it. If I put the groove together over a C chord, it sounds like this. Okay, but you could just do down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, to follow along with the lesson if that's where your comfort level is at, okay? That's not a problem. Okay, so it's going to happen, we're going to play it four times over the C chord. times over the G, and then we're going to play it uh, four more times over the C. I'm sorry, six times, two more times. And then F, G, C two times. Okay, so if we put that from the very top, it sounds like this. Gonna lay down my heavy load Down by the riverside Down by the riverside Down by the riverside I'm gonna hit my heavy load Down by the riverside I'm gonna study more no more Alright, 
you know, C probably wouldn't be my natural key, obviously. Um, well, you know, maybe it would be, but I, I, I'm a little flat. Oh, I'm really flat, I know. But that should give you context, at least. The singing was just to give you context, right? So try not to bully me too much. Okay, so in the chorus, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing an F two times and going to study C two times, G for one time, and then C, G, C two times. Okay, and that repeats itself, so it goes. I ain't gonna study, I ain't gonna study, I ain't gonna study, oh no more, I ain't gonna study, I ain't gonna study, I ain't gonna study, oh no more. Now, sometimes, after the second time through there, I put a G7 in there just to turn it around a little bit because I like the way that sounds when I do that. So if I'm playing it and I go something like, ain't gonna study, oh, no. All right. Now, if you want to do the same bass line over the F, the bass line will look like this. And over the G it would look like this. So the, there's a version in, in, um, in this version where he's going through and he's going to go ahead and play the bass over and over and over again. And over the C chord, you would just play that C bass line over the F, the F bass line, over the G, the G bass line. So if, for example, in the verse, you would do the C bass line four times. to the G bass line two times. C bass line six times. And then you go to the F bass line once. G bass line, C bass line, two times, and that would be kind of how he plays that solo, all right? Um, but you can all this is a traditional song. You can also look up other lyrics and you can play with those other versions as well. All right, um, tenthumbspro.com. Thank you very much, veterans, for your sacrifice. I hope that this one brought to you by an anonymous friend of yours. Um, will be something that makes you happy and thankful this Thanksgiving. Take care, everybody. Keep on playing ukulele. Keep on loving life. And until next time, have a lovely day. All right. I hope you got it. I hope you dug it. Awesome song. Veterans, I see you. In, uh, police, I see you guys. I see you sacrifice. Firefighters, I see you guys. Teachers, I see you guys. Um, I'm thankful for anyone out there doing a public service. And I'm thankful for you guys watching. And I'm just trying to pass some good energy down to you guys today. Thank you so much for everything. Um, now it's time for me to go watch the Lions try to beat Minnesota. The first place Lions. I'm going to look back at this in a couple of years and laugh at that. Okay, everybody, take care. Rock and roll. And happy Thanksgiving from 10 Thumbs to you.